just want to run you guys through the uh, three baits that we're towing here. As Eddie's already said, we've got two teasers in the water plus three baits. We've got two outriggers out. What that does is allow us to troll the baits a little bit wider on some release clips. So when the fish comes up and bites the bait, it'll just release out of the outrigger. Gives us a nice wide spread of the water column, which is good. So what we've got here is a mullet, a garfish and a queenfish. Now the two fish on the riggers are these, we've got the mullet and the queenie, they've both got uh, sinkers rigged in them, the mullet's just got the sinker underneath his chin and the queenie's got the sinkers inside his gill area. They've got the tow line just coming up through the top of the head here, so it almost works like a deep diving lure and those mullet and queenfish are actually working beautifully about a metre underneath the surface. In the middle on the long rod which is just behind me here, We've just got this skipping garfish with a skirt over its head just to protect it a little bit. That's a really nice bait, especially for a sailfish. And that's just sitting right, right out there long, just skipping across the top. What you might notice is that all three of these baits are rigged with circle hooks. Now the really cool thing about circle hooks is that they look like there's not a hope in hell that they're going to hook a fish because of the way that the hook point is facing directly at the shank of the hook. But what they do is the fish takes the bait, it swallows it. When we're free spooling, the bait's getting swallowed by the marlin. And then when we set the drag, the actual hook and the bait starts coming out of the fish as if we're not gonna hook it. And then because their mouth is shut, it finds a home in the corner of the mouth. There's two reasons it's good. Firstly is the hook always stays in, doesn't tear out. And the really good thing is, we can get the hook out really easily when we release the fish. And we don't have to cut the hook off and leave it inside the fish so we get no mortality rate on these billfish. It's fantastic. With our baits prepped, all eyes watch the water behind the boat for any action. Luck's on our side, as it isn't long before we have another nice black marlin on the line. But we're still a long way from landing this fish. Now obviously it's a bit of a hectic time, we've got a lot of line and downriggers and electric reels to clear. I'm, uh, I'm out of my depth here, I'm, uh, I'm on the helm and Eddie's on the rod. <laughs> That's a bit of a roll reversal at the moment. <laughs> We're just, uh, just backing up slowly on these fish. Starting to come up, two mica just out the back here. Here he there comes. He is. <laughs> oh, he's a nice fish, Ed. Nice fish, yes. <laughs> I reckon so he's a fish. Up. Yeah, he's going to be better than 60 kilos. Yeah, mate. Wow, he's pretty lit up, isn't he? Yeah, he's just sort of waking up now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, Ed, I've got some gloves on. Righto, mate. So I'm ready to grab that leader when I get a chance, mate, and hopefully grab the bill. Beautiful. Pretty uh, pretty exciting stage. Marlin's all about, uh, Marlin fishing, sorry, is all about teamwork. You know, we've got uh, guys clearing rods. Obviously, Eddie's on the rod here himself. Someone has to drive the boat. Ian's taken over that role. Definitely a team job. In my opinion, the best job on the boat is the job that I'm maybe about to get. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing the line on the fish, or as they say, you're leadering or wiring a marlin, is probably one of the most exciting things you can do in fishing. It's really that moment where you get a one-on-one -on -one arm wrestle. And then eventually you can uh, get a bit close to taking a few wraps at a time and hopefully grab the bill. Though I'm excited about the possibility of wiring a nice sized black marlin, it still has plenty of fight left in it. So Ed has to buckle in for a long battle. Might have to widen that mate. <laughs> well, no, I reckon I might make it. There we go. Beautiful mate, thank you. This stage of the fight, it's really a bit of a mental battle now. The fish has done a lot of its exploding on the surface, which is great for us. We feel like it's getting rid of some of its energy, but now it's going down deep. And whilst it looks like we're putting a fair bit of hurt on this fish, in reality, it's probably like a nil all draw. It's kind of resting as much as we are. But when it comes up like this, you can see that spool's accelerating and the line angle's coming up. It's a fantastic thing. What's happening is definitely coming to the top, which means he's going to get rid of some more energy, start jumping, and it's a time for us to turn around and come back on him. What we did to make that happen was we had the fish directly under the boat and we drove off him. Too many people spend too long just fighting a fish directly below the boat. Really you're not doing anything, it's just a simple tug of war and you're not making too much of an impact. You want the fish high and getting rid of some energy on the surface. He's lit up now! <laughs> After a long fight, Ed and Ian have finally managed to work the fish to the surface. Let's go easy now. Now, it's time for me to play my part 
help the team vote this impressive bowl. Just off straight off the bow. He's coming up, he's coming. Yep, just slowly into gear, mate, slowly into gear. Slowly into gear, he's coming up. He's coming up. Into gear, that's it, mate, that's it. That's in the right hand down. Right hand down, where's that tag off? There he is. There he is, boys. Tags in. You can come down this way a bit more, Mike, if you can, mate. Okay. Keep holding his head up, that's it. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Good stuff. I'll be honest with you, that is far bigger than 70 kilos. Look at the big shoulders on that girl. I think, there we go, and see that's what I was just talking about with those circle hooks right in the corner, come out beautifully. So we're not going to have to cut, a, cut this hook and leave it inside her. She's going to be just fine. She's got the tag here, for conservation reasons. Beautiful black marlin, shorter in the bill, big high dorsal, and this pectoral that's curved. The striped marlins have a big, long, straight pectoral. What a beautiful fish. On this show, we've fished for the giant versions of these on the Great Barrier Reef at uh, Cairns. I tell you what, catching these girls on spin tackle, I reckon this is even better to be honest. Especially out of the little centre consoles, just fantastic. What a fish, Eddie, well done. Cheers, mate. <laughs> yep. Yeah, not that 90 kilo. Uh, beautiful, mate. Sweet as. Well, we've just run the tape over this girl and the fish is a little, uh, little over 90 kilos, so we're about right and what a beautiful black marlin. Off you go, mate. <laughs>